And welcome back to Elmarva. Delaware lawmakers are taking steps to ban styrofoam containers at food establishments across the first state. Senate lawmakers passing the bill on Thursday to limit the use of polystyrene containers, otherwise known as styrofoam. Senate Bill 57 would also ban single use plastic straws unless a customer asks for one, along with coffee stirs, cocktail picks and sandwich picks. Now, one of the bill's sponsors, State Rep Paul Bombach, tells us that the main focus of the ban has to do with health concerns, specifically when you microwave those containers. It's extremely convenient. Uh, technology that we have, but it is indeed one that can turn deadly. Um, the the fumes you can get, the all the chemicals uh, in there that make it so convenient, also is very dangerous uh, for human health. Yeah, and the bill now heads to the House for a vote. And staying in Delaware tonight, Governor John Carney announcing he plans to end the state's public health emergency. The governor extending the public health emergency back on March 31st and plans to formally extend it one more time this month before the public health emergency expires on May 11th. Governor Carney says the state will continue to work with businesses and the healthcare industry in this transition. All right, let's get going here with uh, a very cool and wet evening that will eventually work its way into a dry holiday weekend. It's just going to be a while before we start to warm temperatures back up. What a drastic change from the past couple of days, huh? We were talking the 80s and uh, record breaking numbers and now back down to uh, something you would expect for this time of the year. Uh, certainly below average though. Morse roofing and siding sky cam out of Rehoboth Beach. I was showing earlier during our news hour some views from a very wet boardwalk out in Ocean City. It's just been a raw, nasty day, but thankfully drying out in time for the big race tomorrow morning at the Salisbury Zoo, the Eastern Shore Rabbit Rescue Bun Run. 45 at 9 o'clock will still be in the mid 40s at 11. So not much change in our temperature for the morning. And I'm being a little optimistic about how much sun we see by 11 o'clock. Maybe a few breaks in the clouds. Just don't count on too much of it. Let's talk about the Easter weekend overall. So I do expect a lot more sun for our Easter Sunday. After starting in the 30s, a little chilly out there for the Easter egg hunts, but about 57 for the afternoon. But really focusing on the fact that we have dry travel too. So if you're headed in any direction, Direction by several hours, by the way, north, south, or west. Uh, very quiet weather here on the east coast. The last of the active weather you're seeing right now south of Chincoteague, and we're uh, looking at those showers exiting Accomack County here, taking the wide view. It's taken all day for this band of rain to move north to south, but it will continue to push south, kind of get hung up in the tidewater area for a good part of tomorrow, but moving even further south by Easter Sunday. 57 for our almanac. That's where we were today for the high temperature. So that happened at 930 in the morning, though, and our temperatures have slowly declined throughout the day. Josh and Marion Station called in uh, just a few minutes ago at 47 degrees in Somerset County, where the rain has recently ended. 52 right now in Georgetown, 49 in Salisbury, 49 in Dover, Easton at 41, Wallops 47, a little cooler in Melfa at 43. Melfa, you're one of the last places, of course, to have these showers here. There's the edge of the cold front, and in behind it here, uh, we're looking at drier air moving into the surface, but not enough dry air overall in the atmosphere to clear out this cloudiness. So that cloud deck sticking with us throughout the day for our Saturday, running this through four o'clock in the afternoon. Note <laughs> the showers are so close, but they will stay south of the area and we'll clear out nicely just in time for Easter Sunday. Again, after that chilly start, we actually should be a little warmer in the afternoon than what I expect for tomorrow. Back to tonight, 39 to 44. Those showers you saw there south, they'll move out here shortly, 48 to 53 for your Saturday. So uh, looking at our Brazier's Carpet Care dog walking forecast, expect the sky to look like that for most of the day. But green paws because I expect dry weather, 42 at 8, 50 at 2, and not much better there at 4 o'clock. And your Easter forecast, again, focusing on the fact that we should have mostly sunny skies, seasonably cool, a couple degrees below average with a high of 57. My final weather coming back, we'll talk a little more about the seven-day forecast. We're looking at nice temperatures into next week. Stay with us. We've got more DSI coming up on the other side of the break.